Today's furniture design is on the verge of becoming completely virtual. While parts of the design process could be actualized in 3D CAD systems, primarily the hard framing portion, the soft goods patterning and marker design has remained as a craftsman type design process. This process can be iterative and prone to multiple tries as the pattern for the soft goods is refined for manufacturing purposes. Utilizing SOLIDWORKS together with ExactFlat can bring the whole design process into a single, streamlined workflow. In the case of a chair design, we can walk through the major steps involved. A basic frame is set up in SOLIDWORKS so that there is more freedom to make changes at a later time. Utilizing the parametric feature-based system in SOLIDWORKS allows the chair to be designed piece by piece. In the case that a change is required, it is easy to make the changes on the fly. Here, a skirt piece has made longer due to a request from the designer. We are able to see the adjustments immediately and can make a call on whether this is a direction we would like to go. It appears the original size will work best, so we can change the dimension and put it right back to where it was before. The chair design has been completed and we have the customer's approval. Our next steps will be the creation of the drawings necessary to manufacture the frame parts from wood, then follow up with creating the marker sets for the cloth covered seat and backrest. We will start with one of the frame pieces. Generating the drawings required is a quick and easy process for the user. Utilizing the SOLIDWORKS DIM Expert tools allows the user to add dimensions onto the 3D model that will transfer over to a 2D drawing. Now that the dimensions have been added, we are ready to create the drawing that will be used by manufacturing to create the frame piece. In the drawing, adding views is extremely fast and easy with just a few clicks of a button. After the required drawing views are placed, the dimensions are simply turned on. The dimensions that we apply to the 3D model are brought into the appropriate views. After bringing the dimensions in, adjusting for clarity is a simple drag and drop process and finalizations of the drawing can take mere minutes. With the exact flat add-on, we can now focus on getting the marker sets together. I will open the backrest and then walk through the couple of steps needed for the flattening and marker creation process. First, I will create some edges on the backrest that will later on become seams in the marker set. The back has a nice edge already, but I will need to make some new edges for the front side. Using the geometry that is already there makes offsetting a snap and very controllable. After selecting where I want the edges to appear, SOLIDWORKS will take care of the rest of the work. The main start with Exact Flat is to identify all the separate pieces that will be required in the marker set. We don't care about material type at this time, so we are only identifying the faces of geometry that need to be grouped together into a single piece. Pieces can be given custom names for clarity later on in the marker creation. We want to ensure that all correct surfaces are grouped together for the pieces. Mistakes are easily handled on the fly and the user is not required to start over if something untoward happens. Next, the pieces we identified need to be converted into exact flat geometry and the user is given the opportunity to apply the materials needed for the backrest. After applying the materials, the next step is to start flattening the 3D shapes into 2D flat shapes while accounting for stretching or slack areas. The flattening process is done mathematically by exact flat and is the reason that the material database needs to have the correct information on the material properties. In most cases, the flattening process will have the longest wait for the user. In the example above, the analysis for flattening took about 15 minutes. While it seems like it's a bit of time to wait, this is where the program shines. In reality, a specialist would be draping material, paper, or cardboard over a prototype and manually fitting and trimming until the shape of the flat is correct. Transferring this information is usually manual and prone to errors. With flattening completed, the next steps will be to add the seams or any other items required for the final marker. As seen already, adding the seams is an easy picking process. Not only do the seams get added to the selected edges, the joining edges on other pieces are put on as well. Corners are easily handled by the software. Moving and rotating adjustments to the pieces can be done on the fly to make it more presentable or orderly. The final steps are to send the information out to the cutter or generate drawings necessary for the fabrication and piece sewing. ExactFlat has specialized tools to deal with this and could possibly increase efficiency in manufacturing. As you can see with this short introduction, the process for furniture design can be an easy and efficient process when pairing SOLIDWORKS together with ExactFlat. With a combination of these tools, furniture design and manufacturing can be taken into the future.